guys and welcome back for a, another short flow. Today's sequence is an immune boosting sequence with lots of twists and stretches to help detox your body, rid all those toxins and get you ready and energized for the day ahead. So whenever you're ready, you don't need anything at all, just some space on the floor, a mat if you have one, and come and join me in a seated position in the center of your mats. We're gonna to begin today's sequence on our backs. So if you just slide into the center of the mats, bring your knees in towards your chest and just hug them with both arms and just start by rocking from side to side, maybe massaging the lower back. You can make circles with your hips. And then maybe go in the other direction if you've been circling your knees. And then from here, we're just going to take the hands out in a T-shaped position, palms facing up. Toes are gonna to go to the ground, heels are gonna remain lifted, and we're just going to drop the knees from side to side five times. Opening up the hips and the lower back, trying to keep those shoulders glued to the floor as much as possible. I think I'm on number four and number five, so last time each side and then gently bring the knees back to center. Maybe give them one last squeeze with the arms and then slowly roll all the way up seated and come onto your hands and knees. So we're gonna do three cat cows. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're just simply going to inhale as we dip the stomach, look up toward the ceiling, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Exhale to round through the spine, dropping the head to look towards the knees, pressing the ground away, pulling the shoulders open and sucking the navel up toward the spine. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. And then slowly just take your hands further forward. We're going to take the left foot through into a low lunge position, reaching the heart forward. So take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, tuck the toes, step back to down facing dog. We're going to take a vinyasa. So inhale, roll forward to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. We're going to take the right leg forward now. As we come back into that low lunge, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, step back to down facing dog and we'll take another vinyasa. So inhale, roll forward to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. Option now to step or hop forwards to Uttanasana four fold. If you're going to hop, look forwards, bend the knees as you inhale. And as you exhale, find your float. Catch in Uttanasana four fold, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, fold deeper. Plant the hands on top of the feet. And as you inhale, find a halfway lift, sending the hips back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Find that tabletop position. Exhale, fold forwards deeper into your Uttanasana forward fold. And then inhale as you come all the way up, extended to Dasana. Exhale, release the hands. Find your nice mountain pose position at the front of your mat. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, relax. And then this time we're going to inhale as we lift our hands up above our head and take a big step back with our right foot into a high lunge position. So if you need a steady stance like I do, just go a little bit further apart with the legs. So find a wider stance with your feet. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring the hands together to your heart and we're gonna to twist to bring the um, left, sorry, the right elbow across to the left knee, outside edge, and look over that left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath in, really squeeze through the legs to keep you stable. Exhale, one more deep breath here. Exhale again. And then inhale to lift. Lift the hands up above the head and exhale as you step back together. Inhale as you step the left leg back to the back of the mat. Now find that high lunge position and remember your steady stance. Palms together as we exhale into the heart. And then we're gonna bring that left elbow to the right knee. Look out over the right shoulder as you inhale to find that twist. Really engage the back legs and the inner thighs to keep yourself stable. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, one more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then inhale as you come all the way back, lifting the hands above the head. Exhale as you step the hands together. Inhale as you release, shake it all off. And then we're gonna work our way back down. So inhale to lift 
the hands up above the head, extended to dasna. Exhale as you hinge at the hips, coming all the way down into your Uttanasana forward fold. Find your halfway lift. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades and send your hips back. Exhale, fold deeper into your Uttanasana forward fold. And then option to step or hop back to plank. Try not to let the hips sag as you catch in plank. And we're going to exhale all the way to the floor. Release the hands, send them out in front of you. Send the legs back behind. And we're going to inhale as we find our locust pose. So an arch or a dish shape. So inhale to lift and squeeze the chest and the thighs off the floor. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. For those of you who want to, you can stay in uh, locus, or for those of you who want to go further, grab a hold of your feet and we're going to lift into bow. So inhale to lift and kick. Really kick the hands into the feet. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale to lower. Plant the hands back underneath the shoulders and we're going to press ourselves up into plank and then push back to down facing dog. We're going to take two um, vinyasas. So we're going to inhale to roll forward to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, to toes press back to down facing dog. We'll take one more vinyasa. So inhale, roll forward to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. Option now to step or hop forward to the front of the mat and find your Uttanasana. So if you're going to hop, inhale. As you find your pounce position, look forward and then exhale, jump and land in your Uttanasana forward fold. Take a nice deep breath in, find your halfway lift, squeeze those shoulder blades together, send the hips back. Exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale as you come all the way up, extended to dasana. Exhale, release. Shake it all off, catch your breath. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then we're going to inhale as we windmill the arms up, step back to warrior two. So right leg goes back into warrior two position. You're opening the hips to the long edge of the mat. Arms are parallel to the floor. You're just making sure that your body is nice and vertical and you're squeezing your inner thighs, your glutes and everything to make this a nice, strong, steady position. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, drop that back hand to the floor. Inhale to lift that left front hand all the way up toward the sky into reverse warrior. Exhale, find that back bend. Hold for three, two, one, and then inhale to come all the way up. We're milling the arms over. We're going to take the left hand to the floor and then take the right hand up and over the head. If the floor is too far, feel free to keep the arm elbow to the knee or use a block wherever you need to be. Hold for three deep breaths. Pressing through those inner thighs to keep that nice, Strong stance of the legs and reaching over with that arm. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then as we inhale, we're going to windmill the arms all the way up and over. Turn the body to the outside edge of the mat. Twist the feet in. Maybe shuffle, heel the toe, the feet back in. And then exhale, find goddess squat. Hold for three, for two, for one. And then we're going to inhale and twist the other way now. So Facing the back of your mats most likely. <laughs> You're going to take the left foot now at a 45 degree angle and find your warrior two position. So exhale, sink down into that warrior two. Eye gazes forwards over the front fingertips. Squeeze those glutes. Keep that body nice and vertical. Engage the core. Engage the inner thighs. Press through the feet. Take one last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Release that back hand to the thigh. Inhale as you lift and reach with the front hand up. And then exhale to reach back into reverse warrior. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, hold for three, for two, for one. And then we're going to windmill the arms all the way up and over. Find that side angle position. So hand to the floor, knee or block. And then reach over with that top hand looking up at the fingertips if you can, or feel free to keep looking at the floor wherever you are comfortable. And just take three deep breaths.
Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you windmill the arms all the way up. Heel toe the feet back in just slightly. Exhale, find that goddess squat. Hold for three, two, one. And then we're going to inhale as we lift our hands back up to the center. Step the feet together and come to the middle of your mats. Going into our balance section now, we're going to go from tree pose to eagle to squat. And we're going to hold each pose for three seconds. So we're gonna move our body weight over to the right side of our body. Option one for tree pose is ankle, calf, or thigh. Never on the knee. Try and find that um, nice 90 degree angle with the legs by squeezing the glutes and engaging the inner thighs. And then bring your hands to heart. Option one, to keep the hands at heart. Option two, take the hands above the head. Or option three, you can challenge your eye gaze by lifting the eye gaze up toward the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale and hold for three, two, one, and then we'll transition into eagle pose. So unravel the legs, take that um, lifted leg up and over the right leg. You can either place the toes on the floor or hook the toes around behind the calf, wherever your mobility allows. And then with the arms, release the arms down, taking the right arm underneath the left crossing over at the elbows and wrapping the hands together. Inhale to lift, eagle pose, hold for three, two, one, exhale, release, step the feet apart, find your squat stance, inhale to take the hands up above the head, palms together, exhale, come down into garland pose. Sink all the way to the bottom of your squat, use your elbows against your knees, lift the chest, tailbone to the floor, crown of the head toward the ceiling, and take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then inhale to come all the way up. Step the feet back together, exhale, release the arms. We're gonna move over now onto the other side. So taking the body weight over onto the left, right foot goes against the ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Finding that nice 90 degree angle with the legs, squeezing the glutes, engaging the core. Bring the hands towards the heart or above the head or eye gaze to the ceiling. And hold for three, two, one. We're now going to transition back into that eagle pose. So release the arms, release the leg. Take that uh, lifted leg up and over the, so right leg over the left. Balance with the toes or hook the toes around the calf, wherever you prefer. And then with the arms, we're going to take left arm under right, crossing at the elbows, and then reaching up towards the ceiling as we inhale. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, hold for three, two, one. Exhale, release the arms, step the feet apart, find your squat stance. Inhale to lift the hands up above the head, palms together. Exhale, come back down into garland pose. Tailbone toward the floor, crown of the head toward the ceiling. Chest comes through the knees as you press the elbows against the knees. And hold for three deep breaths again. So you're probably on number two or three now. One last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale to come all the way back up. Step the feet together. Exhale, come all the way down to the floor. We're going to take half head to knee pose. So come to a seated position. Left leg goes out long. Right sole of the foot comes in toward the inner left thigh. Square the body off toward the left leg. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold forwards over that leg. Flex the toes back towards you. Think about getting the chest towards the thigh, head towards the knee. And just hold for three two, one, inhale to come back to center, take the right leg out wide, slow, long, sorry, left sole of the foot comes in toward the right inner thigh, square the body off now toward the right, inhale to lift and lengthen, exhale to fold, bringing the chest towards the thigh, head towards the knee, and again just holding for three, two, one, and then inhale to come all the way back up. We're gonna slide back onto our backs and finish where we started. So come all the way onto your backs, bring your knees in towards your chest, just hug them with both arms. 
rock from side to side, massage that lower back, and then take the hands out into a T-shaped position, palms facing down, toes come to the floor, heels stay lifted, and we'll just take five more window wipers, dropping the knees from side to side, releasing off that lower back. Keeping those shoulders glued to the floor if you can. Last one each side. And then slowly bring the knees all the way back into centre. Hug them tight in towards your chest. Again, just give them a little rock if you want to. And then whenever you're ready, roll over onto the right side of your body and come to a seated position to finish your practice. We'll take one final deep inhale as we lift our hands up above our heads, palms together. As we exhale to the forehead, kind thoughts. To the lips, kind words. To the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.